As politicians across the country are calling for unity, Vice President Mike Pence prepares to campaign here in Jacksonville on behalf of Ron DeSantis. Both Pence and DeSantis have condemned the terror attacks. On Wednesday, the vice president tweeted, These cowardly actions are despicable and have no place in this country. Grateful for swift response of the Secret Service, FBI, and local law enforcement. Those responsible will be brought to justice. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy is joining us now this morning. And Jennifer, security, it's a major concern for these politicians today. That's absolutely right. As the vice president prepares to head here to Florida for a rally with Ron DeSantis, security is top of mind for a lot of politicians, including those here in Florida. Taking to Twitter, the two major gubernatorial candidates, Republican Ron DeSantis and Democrat Andrew Gillum, condemn Wednesday's violence. DeSantis tweeting, these acts of terror are disturbing and unacceptable. We are grateful to law enforcement and all first responders who run toward the danger to keep us all safe. Meanwhile, Andrew Gillum, we have seen the collapsing of our political discourse and my opponent has run a playbook very similar to the moral equivocation of our president. He should know better. The vice president will join Ron DeSantis here at the Prime Osborne Center around 4 o'clock this afternoon. We will, of course, be carrying that on air and online on newsforjacks.com. Meanwhile, earlier this week, former Vice President Joe Biden was here in Jacksonville at the University of North Florida for a get out and vote rally. He was campaigning for Andrew Gillum and Senator Nelson. And as we approach these midterm elections less than two weeks away, we can expect that a lot of these candidates will be making many more campaign stops here in our area next week. Donald Trump is expected to be in southwest Florida for a rally near Fort Myers. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, the local station.